guys, it's Miss Thompson again, and today we're going to look at some different ways that we can multiply two digit numbers by one digit numbers using several different methods. So the first type of problem we're going to look at are problems that deal with multiples of 10. These are problems that have numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So let's look at a problem like this. I want to know what is the product of 20 times 4. Well, to solve this problem, I can use the facts that I already know. Well, I already know that 2 times 4 gives me 8. But since my 2 in this problem is actually in the tens place, that means that my answer also has to have a 0 at the end of it. So, since I know that 2 times 4 equals 8, I'm going to go ahead and put that as the first part of my problem. And since my 2 is in the tens place, I'm going to put a 0 in my answer. So, 20 times 4 equals 80. Let's look at another example. If you want to pause the video for a second and try it on your own, do that now. And now we're going to look at how we solve 30 times 6. So again, I have 30 times 6, and I want to know what is the product of that. So I look at my digits. I know that 3 times 6, well, what is 3 times 6? 3 times 6 is 18. That's right. But since my 3 in 30 is in the tens place, I know that I need to have a zero at the end of my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and write my 18 because 3 times 6 is 18. And then I'm going to put a zero in the ones place to take care of my place value. The next method we're going to look at is what is called the break apart method. And this will help us to multiply some two digit numbers by one digit numbers when we can't just look at our multiplication chart. So let's look at this example. I want to know what is 24 times 4. Well, to help me to break this apart into smaller problems that are easier to do, this is what we do. I'm going to take the 24 and I'm going to break it apart into its expanded form. So here, 24 breaks apart into 20 and 4. And then I'm going to take each part and multiply it by my one digit number. So I have 20 times 4, which I know that 2 times 4 is 8. And since my 2 is in the tens place, I'm going to need to put a 0 at the end. So 20 times 4 would be 80. And then I know from my multiplication facts that 4 times 4 is 16. Now, since I broke it the, part, the number apart at the beginning, I'm going to have to put it back together at the end. So what I do is I take my two products and I'm going to add them up to get my final answer. So I take the product of 20 times 4, which was 80, and I'm going to add it to the product of 4 times 4, which is 16. And, well, 0 plus 6 is 6 in the ones place. 8 plus 1 is 9. So my final answer would be 96. Let's try another example together. Let's say I want to find the product of 17 times 5. Well, to help me to break this apart into smaller equations that are easier to do, I'm going to break apart 17 into its expanded form. So 17 would break apart into 10 and 7. I'm going to multiply each part by my other digit, which is 5. So my first equation would be 10 times 5. My second equation would be 7 times 5. So let's solve those two equations, and then we'll add them together to get our final answer. 10 times 5 is 50. Good job. And 7 times 5 would be 35. 
To get my final answer, I add together my two partial products, and I get a final answer of, well, 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, so my final answer to 17 times 5 would be 85. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you've learned a little bit of some ways to multiply two-digit numbers by one-digit numbers. Next time, we're going to look at another common way of multiplying two-digit numbers by one-digit numbers. If you want to go ahead and take a look at that next video, it'll be in the description below. Until then, it's Ms. Thompson. I love you. Bye-bye.